All right, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. I want to set up a new audio interface for the first time in Bitwig. Now, um, some people have had trouble with this in the past. Now, I have not set this up yet. I have installed the drivers. Uh, this is a complete audio six. Now, um, I am using Focusrite uh, Scarlet 6i6, and it is brilliant. But there's something that it doesn't do, which I want. I want um, to be able to do, and I, that's why I'm switching it out. But um, I will use the focus right for recording vocals because I can um, I can do some really good routing of audio on there. So this is a complete audio six, uh, and basically we're just going to set this up today in Bitwig. So I'm just going to rip it out of the box uh, and get started. So um, I'm I'm not sure if I can run two audio cards at the same time. So this could be kind of a bit tricky because I'm using the other one to record this audio but I need to set this one up in this video, so I guess we'll find out in a second if we can or if we can't. All right, let's make some space. Now, um, what I want to do with this audio card, which is different, is I want to be able to uh, record a, a live DJ set, for example. So if I'm... If I'm recording something like I am now, and I want to record my DJ set at the same time, I just needed something with a little bit more control. I cannot do it with a focus right with the um, external inputs. So um, let's go ahead and set this thing up. Oh yo yo! Packaging, gotta love it, eh? I have this hate love relationship with packaging. Um, it's a complete waste of resources, and it pollutes the planet. But um, it's also fun unwrapping something, so I don't know. Okay, so with this we've got uh, external input 3 and 4, which is what I'm after. And that will have my um, the sound coming out from the mixing desk directly into it, so that's going to be great. Now, what do we have here? We've got a monitor. Got, uh, we can actually plug in our microphone and power it with Phantom. That's great. So, without further delay, let's get this hooked up and then we can open up Bitwig and get into it. Now, if you're as unfortunate as I am to have buggy um, three uh, USB 3 ports on your PC, um, it's basically the hardware manufacturer didn't quite make it right, I guess. Um, no no drivers are fixing this problem at all. There's no updates. Uh, I cannot plug anything USB 2 into a USB 3 port. And I only have four USB 2 ports, <laughs> so it kind of makes things a little bit tricky. Alright, so let's um, put that over there. I need to get up and move around. This may or may not be noisy depending on how this is edited okay so i've got okay this will work okay the lights are on i've plugged into usb 2 port and now it's time to open up bitwig okay so bitwig should Automatically remember that I've used the other hard, uh, the other hardware or the audio interface. So we've got to reset this, reset everything up. So this is what we're here for today. Let's open up Bitwig. All right. So Bitwig is now open. Now we need to go to the um, options menu and preferences. Inside here we've got an audio tab. Now at the moment, mine is set to focus right USB two. Uh, at 44 100 hertz and 256 buffer size now the buffer you have this sort of hate love hate relationship with the buffer um, the lower the buffer the better that means that you're going to get faster response time and no latency in your keyboards and everything else in your hardware that you've got connected up but um, if your PC isn't what well, or your PC or Mac isn't up to scratch then you might have to set it higher and then well you have to live with latency Okay, so let's go ahead and change this now. So I'm going to leave um, the, um, I, I don't know how to pronounce this, pronounce this as ACO or leave it as it is. We're going to switch now to complete audio 6. Uh, just, just remember I've already installed the drivers, so the driver's already there. Uh, I'm going to leave it, well, at the moment I believe in the interface it is set to something really low. 
I wonder if I can actually pull that up. Let's go go find this. Um, uh, down here, Native Instruments, and Control Panel. This one. Okay, so we're set at 48 hertz. Um, one node, two samples, and one millisecond USB buffer. So let's go ahead and try and do this the same. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't done this. I, I don't know. Okay, so um, we'll just do that for now. Uh, the next thing is I want to look at my inputs and outputs. So if I go back to here, um, it doesn't give me anything. This is the difference between the Focusrite and the um, the Native Instruments Audio 6 is that the Focusrite has got some really awesome mapping and stuff in it. And this one's just basically there, and you just got to you got to set up yourself. So um, if I wanted to record uh, three and four inputs, um, which which if I wanted to record my if I want to record my mix that I'm doing out of my DJ set back into my door, then I'd select three and four because that would be where um, I would be sending the signal to. But by default, I want one and two. That would give me the microphones one and two. So if I selected one and two, then I'd be able to record my microphone or a vocalist directly into the door so I'd want to add a stereo um, and the stereo would be you know I'm gonna I'd name these actually so I'd name this um, DJ mix for example because I know that it's <laughs> caps lock um, I know that that's what that would be what I'd use it for um, or instruments but um, I'd call it DJ mix for now and this would be mic one and two now that actually is wrong because um, let's actually delete that the, re the reason why I'm saying it's wrong is because um, I would add a mono and it would be mic one because my microphones are mono not stereo so mic one would be that would be that that would be correct and then I'd add another mono which would be mic two not that I do have a second mic. Uh, then outputs. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. Um, by default, it's outputs one and two. Now, I have the ability here to put in outputs three and four, but I don't have a second pair of monitors, so I'm not going to bother. And even if I did, I would use the, uh, the actual hardware to switch between the two monitors and not the actual... Um, but with Studio's audio interface. So I'd go OK. Uh, and that would be that. Now I don't have um, I don't have my monitors hooked up but it'd be kind of quite interesting to see if anything plays but um, it, it probably won't because of how I'm trying to record this tutorial while setting up a new audio interface and I tell you what, it let me do it. It let me have two audio interfaces connected at the same time which is kind of cool. So I'm recording with one and setting up another. So let's see if this works. Um, the only thing is that I'm not going to be able to hear it, but you may be able to hear it. Uh, actually, let's just go quickly check in the um, playback devices. Uh, would you like to do no, I don't want to disable anything. Um, I want to select for my output now. Uh, so my output has changed. If I select, uh, yeah, well, that, that should actually do it, you know. It's already selected, so it did it by default. Okay. Uh, right, so let's put on, let's do, I don't want to load up any project I've already got. So just for the sake of doing this, let's go to samples and find something. Uh, drum loops, hip hop, 98 BPM. No, nothing. <laughs> so at this stage, um, 
my audio interfaces are conflicting with each other and Windows doesn't know what to use so I'd probably have to pull one out or restart my machine and if I did that I'll stuff everything up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip out the Scarlet completely and I will use the um, complete audio 6 and I'll continue on with this tutorial and we'll just go over the things that I changed to make it work all right back in a sec All right, yeah, so there we go. Um, we've got it playing. Now, uh, you will not probably be able to hear this audio playing at the moment. So it's just a snare um, and a kick drum going there. And the reason why you can't hear that is because um, I have to route my Bitwig to the software program that I'm using to record for you to hear it. And I'm not going to do that just yet. So uh, I'll do that in a second. But I just wanted to show you how to set this up. So this is actually working correctly. Now you may be able to hear in the um, microphone, if I put this over here. That I do indeed have audio coming through my monitors, which is exactly what we want to hear. And uh, yeah, like I said, this the way this is set up, that I cannot show you, or you cannot hear the actual recording as if um, in the door, because I haven't routed it properly. But that's a different setup altogether, and I'll probably go into details how to do this actually later. How to record your how to record your um, your door, the audio out of your door into a program like this, and live stream it or uh, record your own tutorials, for example. Okay, so I think we'll wrap it up. Um, that's pretty much it. So we'll just quickly go over the, the audio settings, um, just so that you know. Uh, so in the preferences and audio, we. Um, I set this up as a DJ mix. Now you'd probably, if you had like a uh, guitar or um, some other instrument, you'd have three and four, and you may choose to do it mono or stereo depending on how on your setup. So um, if you had electric guitar, for example, and um, you wanted to record your electric guitar in, uh, you'd probably make a mono input three or mono input four to plug your guitar into. Um, and also for the mic I've set up a mono channel for the mic so when I record my microphone into my door uh, it's going to come in as mono uh, I've set up a mic 2 uh, so that allows me to plug in a second microphone and have two vocalists uh, that's what that's for and then on the outputs I just left it standard 1 and 2 because I'm just using monitors 1 and 2 and if I was doing any hardware routing to a different set of monitors to, to AB it, I'd use my um, I'd use my hardware interface or another switch or something like that. All right, there we go. That's it. Let's wrap it up, and I'll catch you next time. Later.